what is clustering and what are the types of clustering in this video we are going to discuss in basic about what is clustering and what are the several types of clustering that means how can we arrange several cluster so the basic definition is the method of identifying similar group of data in a data set So the method of finding the similar group of data in any data set is said to be clustering. It basically allows you to automatically split data into groups according to the similarity. In simple terms, grouping data is based on similarities only, which is quite similar. If you want to group a certain things, then there need to be a certain parameter that needs to be similar so that grouping can be done. Actually, we use the unlabeled data in clustering, unlike supervised machine learning, where we have labeled data and respective output also. But here we have no output. That means we do not have any Y. Y is not there in unsupervised machine learning. Clustering is a part of unsupervised machine learning only. And as we know that we do not have any labeled data here, which means we do not have any prior information about data. That means no info about data. So what we do here is we divide the data into groups based on some similarities. Now let us take some examples so that we can understand it more clearly. So the very first example is companies such as Amazon, Netflix, or we can say in brief such as shopping sites, or we can say as online series where we watch such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, and many other. So what they do is they group all their customer on the basis of their interest and their search history and then invite their customers to buy the certain product. So that happens in the shopping sites only. Let's say if I have buyed a product one, then after buying that particular product, such other recommendations are shown to me in the list. So that happens also in online series. If you have watched an online series, let's say it is of horror genre or it is of thriller then what happens it now in your watch list or in your to be watched it suggests you such kind of series more such kind of series of that particular genre so how does that happen it actually happens on the basis of your previous viewing so what it does it it groups and that means it creates a cluster secondly you have seen in the malls also that items are always arranged that means items are arranged in mall in sales and marketing to group the customer that means okay customer is buying this item so let it put in the first track and group all the items of such products there third example could be google news now what happens in google news is that Whenever you open the Google News to search a brief about any particular news, there are several news channels actually which are covering those particular news. So they are made a particular cluster. Let's see about it also. For example, here you can see that Quad Summit key focuses vaccine developed in US to be manufactured in India. Now this particular news is done with News 18 also. Hindustan Times, the Hindu, the Indian Express and also the Indian Express certain opinions have been generated. So what this done is actually this has made a particular cluster of the same news which is being generated by various news channels. So it has done a particular cluster of that. So it is also an example of it. Next we are going to discuss about the types of clustering. So in types of clustering the very first type of clustering is exclusive. What happens in exclusive clustering is that any particular item or element belong to a particular class or cluster only. That means one particular item belongs to a particular class.
now i'm going to draw a picture also so that you can get a more clear picture about how exclusive clustering actually happens so let us say that this is the y axis and this is the x axis and here we have several red dots now these are actually the data points and here we have several purple color dots also Now what happens is that in the picture which you have seen just now, you can see that all these red dots belong to red class, let's say, and all these purple dots belongs to purple class. And they cannot belong to each other's class because they have same one characteristic that is color. So this will be the one cluster created and this will be the another cluster created. So let's say that this is the C2 cluster and this is the c1 cluster so this happens in exclusive clustering where an item belongs exclusively to one cluster not several clusters that is exclusive clustering next type which we have is overlapping now what happens in overlapping is here an item can belong to multiple cluster that means one particular item can belong to multiple cluster so i'll let you understand with an example only here you can see that these are the right items which belong to a particular class and these are the violet items which belong to a particular class. Now here you can see these are two orange items also there. They belong to both the classes. That means they have certain properties of both classes so it falls into the overlapping class or we can say that this is the concept of overlapping clustering. So this actually overlaps both the cluster. Next part and the last part of clustering is hierarchical clustering. Now what happens in hierarchical clustering is that the cluster is formed in the series rather than in one step. So the cluster form here is actually a series and it is quite a kind of a tree shape. Now let us look at an example of hierarchical. Here you can see in this particular diagram there is a cluster C and then it is divided into two other clusters C1 and C2 and that is further divided into the cluster that is C1 dash C1 double dash and C2 dash C2 double dash. So what is this then? Actually the clusters are not formed in a single step. Here you can see that if we consider this as step 1 then here it is step 2 and lastly there is step 3 if you consider the rank. So what happens is that clusters are formed in following series of partition to come up with the final cluster. These are the final cluster let's say. And it looks like a tree as visible in the image. So now what we have to do, we will implement several algorithms to compute the speed and efficiency and then implement several programs also. So we will firstly do with the k-means cluster. And this k-means cluster and the algorithm I will discuss in my upcoming video.